Hello guys, hey my name is Day and I'm here to show you an app that changes your lock screen to a whole new level. This is the Galaxy S4 lock screen and it is I must say 99% very very similar. So firstly you go to the Google Play Store obviously I'm taking this with a um, I'm recording this with a phone that's why I cannot show it to you on my phone but anyways you go to the Google Play Store and you just simply search for Galaxy S4 lock screen yeah that sounds kinda fishy though because you think that there will be always like weird apps that never work but this is not the case um, this Chinese developer all praises to him he made the 99% like totally correct lock screen that imitates the Galaxy S4 lock screen so yeah you can see some snapshots here it's very awesome I've tried it I've tried it loads of times and I'll show you later on a different phone it's a single pro core processor phone and you'll notice some lags on that phone it's the Xperia Miro and I suggest you look it before I tell you anything anyways you need to download this and then in my s it will be in the link if you want to follow that or you can just download it on your phone directly or you can go to the site that I told you and now next is the font well you need you don't really have to have this but this is the actual original font if I tell you the details um, if you see the life comparison or life companion um, texture you'll see that it's in some kind of text that you know it looks official that's what I'm trying to say but when you actually get it first time you, it's not it doesn't look like that it's it's wrongly advertised and if I give you my example here you can probably see that yeah that is not what it looks like there so what I've done is I found the font file it's in TTF it doesn't matter just you just need to copy it to your SD card it's very easy I'm sure most of you do it but if you don't you download it and then sorry this is in my language so in, in your language it will say download right here and you might have to make an account but for shared I'm sure I'm pretty sure everyone knows this thing so you go to downloads you've got cool jazz font and then you go to your phone this is the Xperia Miro as you see and you copy it onto any folder or wherever you want um, and then that's done and that's done too so I suppose you've downloaded this and you've done that so now it's time to show you the cool stuff on the phone now this is it's hard to say but I must say this lock screen is near perfection I'm sure that no one has made this without rooting so you go to the app here uh, it's pretty hard to see yeah it's focused now so it's going to have that auto checked so it's pretty easy to see there and you can change the lock screen effect to ripple and I'll show you both of those later and you can put shortcuts for example you can put apps like you would normally do and it will go on the bottom of the screen I'll show you that too disable system lock screen yeah this you'll probably have to do so that it so that your original lock screen on your phone doesn't like gap with it or go together with it like it's awkward when you have two lock screens at the same time so you press none whatever your phone is I'm sure there's an option for that now lock screen wallpaper you can have a custom the one thing that's wrong with this app is that the support status for transparent doesn't work for me 
if it does for you then great but for me however it did not work so yeah now last thing the most important thing okay look at this it says default font kaiti on my profile font so I'll show you yeah and that sound as well alright look at this not what we want not what I want at least anyways you know what I'm trying to say that's wrong it shouldn't be like that so what we do is we press this we go to custom and you can go to ES file or whatever file explorer you have now you must find your file it's pretty easy in my case I put it in the download file and then there it is cool jazz font sorry if I focus cool jazz font dot ttf if you press it like that you can do it anyway I just did it normal Android way set font success so what happens now yeah that makes it perfect in my opinion so that's how you do that now it looks genuine but obviously the screen size is small in this it's only 3.5 inches it's the Xperia mirror so that's why it looks a bit awkward there but don't mind that now I'll show you the other lock screen effect ripple and shortcuts well you can have whatever apps you may have so maybe calculator whatever and put it on yeah and you, did you see that the sound actually changed and that's also unique too yeah it's the improved version obviously you see it's very slow well if you have a dual core or higher phone that's probably released around last year or more then there won't be any problems with this I'm using a Galaxy S3 and my phone has absolutely no lags on it so I'm very sorry I can't actually show you it or show it to you on my Galaxy S3 unfortunately I don't have a camera so that's the reason now that's actually done as you can see it's the light effect works just fine it works for literally all Android devices or maybe if you have like the oldest thing in the world it may not work but I'm, I can guarantee you it will work 99% so that's around it oh by the way you can have the default wallpaper for that there, you can't have a, like a live wallpaper on that so you, I'm sorry that I don't think it works anyways well thank you for watching and I hope this succeeds for you and if you find anything wrong just please tell me because I I also want to see what's wrong and I can improve on it I'll change it in the maybe the description or something so yeah thank you for watching my first video and this has been the Galaxy S4 lock screen, the app.